<laughs> Doctor said you had a sperm count lower than most women. Yes. So that's how are you gonna handle that? I don't care. Are we live, Matt? Yeah, we are. Hey mom, hey dad, join. Shut up. They're not watching, Matt. Sorry. Ma- Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Sorry, Do not mom. watch this. Quiet. Episode number 37 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. We've look, we've fucking we've we've got we've hit we've hit a rich vein of brand deals. We've been hit up left, right, and center. And um oh. We're doing a trial run with Mother and Athletic Greens this episode. And we're just, it's a trial run. If it goes well, next season will be fucking amazing. And we'll pump all that money that we make back into the podcast. And shit's going to get crazy, bitch. Lava guava. So, not to mention more good news. We're all on a fucking high. The podcast sold out in like 40 hours. Yeah, that's that's pretty quick. Two hundred tickets gone. We're I actually- will admit, I didn't think we'd do it, dude. I, how, how didn't you think that could happen? I just, I don't know. I thought, I just, I, I thought know. it would take a bit longer. I yeah. thought we'd need to sell to the public a bit. But yeah, I did. Think but we pretty much just sold out to the website members, people, and website. Yeah, we um, may need to put a story up to say that it's sold out because people are asking. We can't get tickets. What's going on? No, just say that there are still some available, and then put your PayPal details in, get and then you money. get the money, and then block them. <laughs> Yeah, mother. <laughs> Even mother glasses. But now, we, now the realization has hit us. We're going to be doing what we're doing right now in front of two hundred fucking people. Oh, I'm sweating already. Matt, is, you you live in a concrete tower, and you have these little puppets that you scream at and mince on, and now you're going to have two hundred strangers gawking at you, sitting on a fucking milk stool. I will have them by Actually, the Actually, you have a new chair. Yeah, you know, it's episode forty, which means a new chair bear. Oh. Oh. oh no Oh hang on No oh. I got excited Because I thought It might be something nice But it's not Yeah so No it might It's a, it's the 40th Dude It's the f- finale bro It's a special It'll occasion. be the seat you wear For the t- next 10 episodes Of next season Anyway oh, yeah. So we got That's This surprising. episode We got Paulie and Blake Coming on We got the prank call We got Bachelor Brown We got everything Alright everything's Fucking back We're ready Whoa Alright now As we mentioned guys We have two new brand deals Today so um so just help us um actually we have three we have a new segment this episode as well yeah. sponsored by mother so just fucking bear with us all right um what was i gonna say oh yeah and of course please don't worry about commenting anymore like this we're still running the comment competition so the more times you comment the higher chance of winning a thousand dollars on the season finale but don't worry about that shit anymore just like subscribe and just watch the whole video all the way through. Yeah, if there's and some segments you don't like, just just go do the dishes. Or go do the dishes. Go oh, have yeah. a shit. Go have a shit. And pl- let it play through because and, it's all about watch time and um, five star reviews on Spotify. You know we were ranked 46th highest comedy yeah, podcast on Spotify at one in, the in Australia. In Australia, yeah, I think we dropped out, but we were at one point at that. What I'm sure we'd still be in the top hundred. All right, for fuck's sake, fuck man. What, what are you doing? Well, how, how ridiculous is it? Yeah, fuck me. <laughs> how anyway. Ridic- Five Sorry. star reviews on Spotify, please. All right, let's let's have a crack at these fucking sponsors, Con. Okay. <sighs> why why are you so sad at home? Is it maybe because you've made wrong decision after wrong decision that's kind of led you down a path where you're now overweight alone in a job that you hate? And you can't get up in the mornings and you're sort of just waiting for the weekends to get on the piss. Well, maybe you need to sit up, open your fucking eyes and listen. Because Manscaped.com can help you, you piece of shit, you dirty, dirty cunt. Listen, open your ears. Manscaped.com has all sorts of male grooming products so you can strip that hair off your back so women don't vomit at the very sight of you. You can't! And they have some very exciting news. Manscaped products are now in Woolworths. Really? Yes! Before Christmas, they're taking over Australia in time for the holidays. Their life-changing hygiene products are now available in all Woolworths Australia retail stores. So you can go and gift Manscaped presents to your loved ones using our discount code FULLYACTUAL20. 
Do you understand? I don't know if that applies in Woolworths, but it's worth a try. Just say that you know us. Because yeah. we know the bosses of Manscaped. I used to work at Woolworths too. 100%. So Michael knows both of them, cunt. So manscaped.com, fully actual 20 for 20% off and turn your life around. Get up. Snap out of it. Before you know it, you'll be 50. Do you want to be 50 and alive? Do you? You can't. You fucking can't. Also for women. Also for women. Dude, you'll break the table. Calm down. Um, yeah, and they got like um, their, their signature lawnmower thing as well. All right. So Sorry. have a look. Why at- are you so destructive? <laughs> look, it's all. Oh. Blake and Paulie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is everything karma. still going on? You got karma. Yeah, everything's good. You're fully right, calm. Blake and wow. Paulie are oh, Why are you so destructive? The oh. fly lies are here. All right, let's quickly do Athletic Greens right now. This is a brand new sponsor, everyone. All right, so fucking hold on to your hats, all right? Now, do you, do you, do you know what Athletic Greens is, man? No. Good. I'm glad that you fucking don't, because I it? do. Athletic Greens is this powder here, okay? It's 75 of the densest, most bioavailable nutrients that help you, you, me, Health-wise, oh. massively. Why do we take AG1? I don't know. Why do we take it? I'll yeah. tell you why. Because there was a time in Michael's and I's life, in our early 20s, when we sat down one evening and we did 15... We did 16. 16... In okay? 16 and 6 For the hours. following six months, all right, we couldn't think properly. I didn't laugh or smile. They were from the dark world. I didn't know who my own parents were. So surprised. we have a lot of damage to undo. And AG1, I'm fucking serious about this, Here's will you. help you. It literally does. I come I come over in the mornings and I have my AG1. I notice my blood pressure's gone down and I feel great. Mate, you got to start taking it. You. F- <laughs> Why are you not taking it yet? It's around the house. Why is free for you? And all you got to do is just open one of them powders, oh. put it in a glass of water, right? And then you're sweet. First of all, go to Manscaped. Second of all, get Athletic Greens AG1, all right? And at least counteract some of the shit that you do to yourselves over the weekend. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and 5. That's Free! free. Travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash fully actual. Okay? Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash fully actual to take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance cunt. Mm, I fucking love it. It is good. Like I, I wasn't that big a fan of the flavor, but I just scull it. Look, we're always going to be honest with you guys. I just scull it. Michael I and James love, love it. Yeah. yeah. Michael and James love the flavor. You will hate it. Because it. <laughs> You'll fucking Healthy. you'll think it's disgusting, but just just skull it. We'll give it a try. Yeah. So if you're a fucking love your benders, get some AG one. It's like a monthly subscription. They send you new shit every month. Trust me, it's not bad. Julian, shut up. Have you? Had it? I fucking love it. It literally, I'll have it and then feel better instantly. I'll have more. It is pretty instantaneous. It is, it's and weird. I'm not lying about that. I'm not saying that just for the sweet sweet cash. So much money right now. Holy shit. But we're not saying it for that. I wouldn't even be considering this if it didn't work. If this didn't make me feel better, Matt, I would say, no, thank you. You can hang on to that check. (laughs) What's wrong, man? Huh? Have another mother. Yeah, right. Yeah. Fuck. Anyway. Yeah. So uh, go and have a look. Sorry. Anyway, boys, um, look, we have fucking Paulie and Blake have just arrived. If you don't know who they are, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> 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 They're from Shami's crew. Blake does Uncut Kitchen and Paulie is just a fucking menace, man. He goes out and king hits old dudes on TikTok. It's and- fucked. <laughs> you got to look him up. Paulie on TikTok. It's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> He's facing like, what, 17 charges at the moment of grievous bodily harm. It's hilarious. Yeah, it is honestly so funny. Oh, they are no. not expecting it's it at all. new age comedy. <laughs> like, oh. You just get someone to film and just he even hit out. a woman. <laughs> yeah. Right at the base of the skull and she dropped hard. Yeah. 
Anyway, all right, let's get um, let's get Paulie and Blake on. So Matt, can you just fucking stand <laughs> yeah. over there? Do you want a bong break first, or just want to? Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Bong break. Is that close enough? Yeah, yeah that's hot. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking Paulie's really hammered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you see my beautiful <laughs> face? Hasn't cut it for ages. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, this is jingle. Hey, yeah, something's up with that one. Have a little feel of the brown. Oh, I've got a decent one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels so good sitting like that. Yeah, yeah, and we're back all right we're here with fucking paulie and blake we've been meaning to get you boys on and fucking shit keeps coming up but he's our third time's the charm excuses eh? we're fucking here in the flesh <laughs> and paulie's high as fuck right now <laughs> <laughs> paulie's ripped. i'm not gonna deny what it. did you guys do today oh fuck we got stoned and then we basically went into where was it Oh yeah, we played uh, hide and go seek at uh, Big W stoned. Oh wow! With GoPro, so yeah, mid thirties is going today. well. That's kind of what we did yeah. today as well. Yeah, we, uh, we went to an abandoned house, and I got we did a Ouija board, and I became possessed and and found my and chased Michael and raped. We played catch and rape. Well, we should hang out more. <laughs> yeah. We got like the same kind of. We're doing the same shit. Just Yours was like cities. a PG of. Oh, I guess you were on drugs, but yeah, ours was. was yeah, we weren't on drugs. Yeah, yeah. We're playing hide and go seek. And the staff are like looking at us hiding behind this shit and we're fucking grown adults. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what I, the fuck are we actually doing? I, I give it up to people at Big W. They helped us hide. <laughs> oh, oh really? They're like, and then I heard her go, yeah, the kids are back there. We're like, kids. <laughs> I need a girl. I need a oh, feel bad, eh? What a loser. So you guys have been with fucking Sh- how did you guys get involved with, with Shami and the boys? I think that you- last time. Charmy signed up for your OnlyFans or something, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. it was basically my OnlyFans, and then he got in touch with me and said, "Yeah, he got in touch in about a route." Yeah. You and Flopper. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's how it all come about. I still remember. I was, there's a fucking video that w- Julian and I is quite. What what is it? The oh, fucking fuck cock fucker. Yeah, yeah. The sneeze <laughs> on. Yeah. Before we even a, a knew you, about you, I, we we'd always say that. Yeah, fucking it's addictive fucker. to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking props it too. Every cunt comes up to him. Cock fucker. And he's like, hey, cock fucker. Loves it, eh? Has, yeah. has he ever cheated on his wife? Because <laughs> <laughs> now, now's the time to say something, mate. I reckon. Oh, bro. Let it out now, hey. Hey, if you're lucky to fucking pick up a car and let alone a fucking wife, that kind of thing was fuck. Has he got oh. a good dick? Is that why it's flopper? And yeah, that's what he says. He just fluffed it out. He goes, you know oh, what? He gave it to flopper. himself. Flopper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Is it running the family or? Wow. I don't know. I haven't You'll have to sign up to the OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how'd you get involved? Did you know Shami before? Yeah, we all hung out. Um, fuck, I don't even know. I think it was just I met the boys at a party or, or some shit. Um, and then I was doing videos with him while I was in construction. And he's like, yeah, jump over and come work for me and I said no <laughs> <laughs> and here you are I said no nah, no nah, I'm, I'm easy breezy on the sideline um, and then over time they uh, came up with the uncut Weird, kitchen yeah. and they're like we'll give you your own kitchen show and I was like yeah right so, so, coming over. so how the fuck do you know how to cook yeah. so well do you just that's the thing I home? don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so bullshit. weird he's, he's a trained thought. chef we know we thought you were a trained chef no you are he's I'm a trained, trained chef. in nothing he's, he's a fake lying. chef no, he's he's not. Not. I guarantee I'm not even trained in podcasting would you say podcasting yeah no casting like I'm fishing no I'm not really so it happened about I don't know about three and a half years ago single most of my life and I was just always eating the same shit and I had nothing else on I was always skateboarding my body started to deteriorate a bit and I was like I need some kind of new hobby and I was just always partying and doing drugs and shit and I was like you know what I'm gonna just start cooking Um, because my plate was just all meat I used to go to the supermarket like the main meat one in bundle or something Goldie and I would buy like $300 worth of meat and then I'd wrap it up and I'd have like if Armageddon came like I was sweet for at least half a year of You're just meat. Diet. So I just had sausages, chicken, steak, like everything like that. No veggies and nothing. And so I just self-trained and just started getting into it. And I was, I'd get drunk in my unit and film it myself. 
just yeah, fucking how's this man? Fucking. And then they kind of seen that going, oh, hey, let's put those two together and get this shit cunt cooking. And mm, that's wow. what happened. So, so I was, was kind of like went into it, dove straight in. And I was like, I know like three recipes offhand and the other 220 or something I've done now, I've never cooked them before. What? Are you never make a mistake or anything? That's How are you so well, good at Well, you, you do make mistakes, I guess, but you, I like doing stuff and just you have to do it. The camera's rolling. Like we kind of set it up like – all right, you can have these days where you practice. And I was like, yeah, 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 sweet. And once I got kind of confident, I was like, fuck the practice. This is shoot. Yeah, and so I do it. And then when at the end, the result, I was like, damn. I was like, so that's how you do it. I was like, fuck, that's sick. <laughs> wow. I was like, oh my God. Do you eat bad. it all or do the boys just shut I, I, I pan it off to the other boys. I've been trying to get them fat for a few years now. It's worked on a few of them. Um, but <laughs> I, um, yeah, I got to, I go back in. I, I want to keep going and, yeah, half the time I'm kind of drunk and, yeah, I don't really eat that much when I'm drunk usually just when I'm wasted. So I, I feed it to them and then I just pick at it and, yeah, whatever. But I surprise myself more than anything. So that's what I kind of push in cooking is like, look, you can say, oh, this and that. Like, I haven't cooked any of that shit. Fuck, driving a camera in front of your face and cooking every day. Like, yeah, it is doable. Sorry. Like, you guys have ate my food. Tastes like piss a bit. But. <laughs> no, yeah, no, you made that piss taste all right. Mm. Yeah, for those of you who haven't seen on the website, Blake, Blake he he came cooked on his a show three course him. meal and the main ingredient was piss. What was it? It was um, piss, battered fish. Sword piss, fish. Everything. Piss, battered sword <laughs> jelly. fish. Jelly. It was, oh, it was oh yeah, the jelly. bender jelly piss. Oh, so the, oh the, the boys, after we bended, we filled up these bottles oh. and then we sat out in the sun for two weeks and they brought their own fermented piss as well. So we put them together and we made food. I oh. can still smell it. Oh, it's man. It's like, like locked in me. I can still smell that, that fucking orange. You shat on the fucking yeah, plant as soon as you ate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shat. And I vomited on Marty. Yeah, you you covered me too. in vomit. Yeah. That's a fucking That was idea, a rough man. day. Why? Well, it was delicious, I thought. Yeah. 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 It was I didn't do it. He just does that bad. with everything he eats. He's bulimic. Yeah, so that's yeah. what happened. It kind of just snowballed from there. And I'm about, I don't know, maybe probably up to like 230 meals now. Yeah, wow. All different meals. Like, so I never thought. You Before then, I had about two or three meals I've cooked that I know off by heart. And then the others are kind of learnt off books and like off internet and that. But I'll just put stuff together, what you kind of want to eat and try and make it easy for people at home. And people from around the whole world send in their results. Like, I'm in the kitchen now. Blake, I've got a root. Fucking, I'm like, man, a- that's the whole mission. <laughs> if you can get a root, like don't go, the, go on to a dinner and taking them out on your first day. Yeah, so um, here's the Titans. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Be at home, put something on. You're just whipping up in there, having some wine to drink. The the talking starts going. And then this chick's like, damn, yeah, this, this motherfucker can kind of cook. He burnt that a little bit, but this guy can cook. And it's you're already effort. at home. And that's the whole, you're at home. You've got a home. Yeah. Why are you taking her out somewhere to try and get her so home? It's so easy to drug them then, too, if you make it. No, for well, <laughs> if, you, if you drug them the, sa- the right time, they, you get two meals you get to eat, and they don't even eat. They just. And you can put it in the freezer and save mm. it for the next one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, Jeffrey should have done that. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, I think why sure that's, that's why he got he caught. So many things I've seen that Jeffrey fucked up on. Yeah. Like, I like cooked. the excuse that the freezer broke down to get away from the meat thing, but he should have chopped up shit and froze it for real. No one would smell it. Yeah, that's so true. You yeah. shit fucking. I don't think you could right, afford right. like freezers though. He's such a it's poor. Right. I was watching that chopping up body guard amateur. What a loser! <laughs> he didn't season it correctly. Yeah, had some salt on that. So what's the plan like after? So what's the end goal with this? What what? Because you, you guys fucking party a lot. How often do you guys party at Shami? Like, because it seems like you guys fucking party like a lot. So how on average f- in a month? No. How many times do you guys get on? Well, it? we get on it a lot. Um, but I feel like we've cut down a little bit. Um, I don't know, may, maybe because the whole fucking Corona shit too. Everyone just started staying at home and wanking online and putting on OnlyFans and going, you know what, I can make money and not leave the house. And yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like it's toned down a bit, but yeah, we still get on it. A Usually lot, once like a week a at least. Yeah. yeah. Where before it was like three or four. Yeah, wow. But before I met those boys, I was really like the group I came from like we bended a lot mm. like we do two to three days straight yeah it was a bender king yeah I, yeah, yeah wow. I've gone a bit older now days. Yeah. I loved it 
Yeah, fuck. When's the last time we, we hadn't had a we haven't had a, no, a bender. proper bender like a good two three day session years. Yeah, yeah. you hear a bird whistling, and you're like, here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's when the <laughs> best. <laughs> that is literally when the <laughs> best shit starts to happen. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's Absolutely. so twisted, but everything's funny too. Oh yeah, fuck, you're so oh, have you seen this pencil? Hasn't even got a rubber on the end. <laughs> oh, fuck, <laughs> it's all the funniest <laughs> kind of thing, man. We should buy a business together <laughs> because we're like we're and soul then you, do. you should dump your girlfriend, man. You should get an apartment. <laughs> You just go on. I love him, man. But yeah, it's taking. Speaking a of away. Bender stories, you told me, and I can't really remember it that well, but it ends in some fucking carnage. When we were down at Shami's once, you told me a story about a pool cue. Can you explain? Oh, it? Chris Johnson. Big shout out to Chris. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh yeah, well, on, yeah. This. Well, on a Bender, and I don't know um, this one. it was two and a half days in, and they're <laughs> playing pool, and the someone put the pool cue against the pool table. And Chris got pushed or he tripped, I can't remember. And as he tripped, the, the table got shook a bit and the pool cue fell down and he felt the same perfect time. It dug into the carpet and went straight through his body and out the oh, other side. Oh my God, it skewered. It, it was 10, 10 mil or something like that off his spine. Oh, what, it went uh, through his went middle. Sh- that much through. Through his mess, yeah, so you I, guys are on a bender. Yeah, yeah. Just, You're just watching your mate. <laughs> Chris went straight through. By a pool and I love Chris, and he's one of the best benders ever. He's like, uh, like that. I just grabbed the chalk and no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he got yeah he got skewered, and he's just sitting there like, oh, and yeah, man, he got like like so came through here and out the back. About that much out his back. So, mid, so what did he back. do? Did you guys laugh? Oh, he had to. I would to finish the game. <laughs> did, what's the reaction when that happens? Did, did anyone well, laugh? He was on like, black ball, so I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was intense, man. It was kind of that like, ha, oh, fuck, oh. and then that other thought of, oh, I'm not going to the hospital. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking cooked. <laughs> and then yeah, he 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 got a fucking. T- he had a shit bag for like so long, like a little. I can't oh, remember what they're called. Oh, man. But yeah, he, he had a girlfriend at the time and she had to like wipe his ass and shit. And he's still got crazy scars here and his belly button's over here now. Whoa. But they reckon it was a couple more mil and it would have, yeah, that's it. either gone. So like, what the, the, cue, the pool cue end bit was sharp enough to just go through his he's body. Bo- he's, he's, he's the snatched. pressure he's, of the body. He's like six foot fucking three or something. Man, yeah. that is fucked and up. And like, so when he's falling, that's like Did a lot panic? of weight. And because the pool cue grabbed into the carpet, it's, it was just the perfect timing yeah. of everything. It's just one of those things. <laughs> so if you're cool playing pool, guys, be careful when you're bendering. <laughs> oh, man. So I went straight oh through yeah, him. Which... Went, he went to the hospital and everyone kept bendering. But yeah, oh, yeah, you got to. I yeah, think you Blair can't call him an Uber or something yeah, and off you right. went. <laughs> Dude, was so did he leave it in just and then just he, run out to the he front? Ha- he had to leave it in. And then when they he went into surgery and, yeah, they, they took it out and just straight through him. And um, I don't know if he kept that part of the pool cue or someone wanted it back, but. Yeah, it wasn't the same shape. Have you got, has anything topped that on a Bender story? Oh, there's, oh man, there's so many of them. Uh, there's one that will on a, I'm not sure of a, was that, uh, we're on this island or something or camping and they ran out of drinks and the Nick and Pat Dandy is this crazy guy, he's pro skater. He's just a nutter. He, um, they went to get more drinks, had to come off this island or some shit and he goes, oh, Nick, can I take you to your Fulby for a drive? He's like, yeah, yeah, and they're all on Mandy. And he gave it some, and Nick had his seatbelt on, Pat didn't. And they swung out and hit a tree head on, and Pat went through the windscreen. Huh. And went through it, pulled his face out of the glass, looked at Nick, he goes, am I all right? And his nose just flipped that way off. And he oh. goes, your nose, and he put it back on, then it flipped down, he's like, do you reckon I can still drink? And then he went, look, I've got photos actually. I'll give it to you guys to yeah, sort of feels can see. Wank over. And yeah, to wank too. But his whole face was demolished. He went to hospital and then Nick went with him and one of the boys. And then they heard this, rah, 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 and they want, needed to do skin graft. He goes, no. And they just banded it up. He goes, no, I'm going back to a pub. And he went and bended for another two days with his half his face off. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, man, and he just kept going, on, man. Holy that's shit. impressive. The, the group that I came from, man, like, yeah, like I try to push this on to Shami or that, <laughs> and um, yeah, like are, that. Are they dead now? Some of them, <laughs> Jesus. Um, no, nah, they got just a shitload of scars. Like, just, Fuck. well, they'll come out of benders and shave half their head and half their face, and then, yeah, I don't know. I, if I think about it, there's worse stuff than that. 
Oh yeah, cool. We got to get into yeah. it. Then Paulie, uh, you're coming up. Yeah, next. what's what's what about yeah, um, you, Paulie? You surely you've done some fuck shit, man. You yeah, fucking- well, I remember actually on a on a bender, we were, there's me mate's mum. This is gonna sound sick for a little bit, but had this goat in this paddock, right? Oh, and it was a fucking <laughs> it was fucking skits. Like you go up to the fence and immediately just like fucking kicking out the side of the fence trying to get you and spitting like at you like this thing was fucking psycho we used to jump the fence and there was this big gum tree out in the middle of the paddock as soon as you got in there that was like a fucking bull just steam training we're like pissing ourselves laughing tripping over trying to run around this fucking gum tree we got back we're all running back with this massive herd I've jumped through a couple have jumped over and Zach one of my other mates he's jumped his cock has landed no. on top of the steel wire no. that runs along the top of the fence and it's oh. just squashed in between his stomach oh and the God. fucking full force of his cock actually blew it out to like this fucking ball. Like it was this purple, looked like a purple <laughs> fucking cricket ball. Oh, He's got his hands in his pants. He didn't want to get his cock out. And I'm just going, bro, wait. honestly, he's like, I don't want to fucking look. I don't want to look. I was like, bro, just give us a look. Just get it out. You got to get it out. Anyway, he's like, nah, I'm fucking not getting it out. The missus, fucking, she's going to dump me. She's not going to want to root me. She's going to dump me. I can't root her. (laughs) Anyway, yeah, he pulled it out and I'm just like, oh, fuck. Yep, she's going to dump you. (laughs) (laughs) And we're not friends anymore. (laughs) Yeah. So he ended up going to hospital and um, they put it in a a splint, is it? (laughs) Oh, yeah? Yeah, and he had to hold it up on his guts for fucking the next week or something like that. And it saved it. Fuck it, yeah. So it oh still works. Yeah, he's pumped out a kid, so. Wow, but the kid came out all fucking <laughs> wonky. <laughs> yeah, just the head's a little bit he cricket. Up, but <laughs> Holy fuck, oh. man. That's some mutilation story. Yeah. Did anyone fuck the goat? I thought you were going like, yeah. someone yeah, fucked yeah, the yeah, goat. Yeah, That's yeah, what I was like, here we go. I thought the goat was going to die. <laughs> like what some of Julian's stories. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what were you guys like at, um, at school? Were you guys little fuckwits at school? Yeah, I was a fucking little... I think the words cunt. Yeah, I, I, I was always in detention, always in trouble, always failing, but I loved school. Like I, I was the only one in my whole family generation to actually finish. They thought I was going to be the one in jail and not finish. <laughs> but I actually got to a point where I was like, I think one teacher, Mr. Wallader, this South African teacher, he's like, Blake, you can do this. You can be do all this fucking around, but just don't get caught. And for some reason that just stuck with me. I was like, he's right. Like – is that you, you don't get caught. So that just made me even worse. And then I was getting teachers fired and shit, and it was got way more funner. <laughs> kind of yeah. a kid. What you, yeah. what you, what, how'd you fire him? You, got, you I, like, said so that they were, they were molesting my, you. My dad was in, <laughs> my dad was in um, construction, so he dropped me off early at school. So I had all the time in the world. So I'd go steal shit from the sports fucking cages that unlock them, the janitor, before even the teachers got there. And I'd so I'd have a vortex, and I'd stand up above, it was kind of like above the tuck shop, and I'd, peg these vortexes at people's head while they're trying to get food <laughs> and um <laughs> mr. This, mr miskin this guy came over this nerd teacher just done computers and shit and he's like blake well, come here all right i go fuck off liskum and he's like what do you say you can't swear at me i go well you can't swear at me don't tell me to fuck off he goes no i didn't no 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 you swore at me i go mate you just told a kid to fuck off he's like no 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 and i said guys did you hear that to my boys they always have my back they go mate you shouldn't do that to a kid <laughs> and then oh, i've gone mate i'm going the principal he goes no i'm going the principal and then we kind of were rushing to the principal door and that guy hated me and he's like whatever and um i thought i was getting suspended but then uh, jacob marty my mate real smart guy's like i can't believe he swore at you and he was a grade student never in trouble like yeah did you hear it? he goes yeah i'm like what so i went with him. i go can you be my witness he's like yeah and so i remember rocking up to this meeting Miss, mr hayes said, i'll got you this time melbourne and then i just brought in the a plus student oh and then the other teachers and he's like oh so he got yeah he got i got suspended three days and he got suspended two days and he's oh my like God. a real good teacher <laughs> wow that's such See, a beautiful story his life a bit yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he would have fucking despised you yeah. so like there was so like the school for me i figured out that there was a pay phone and every time i get sent up to the office i was like i need to get the, this before phones like iPhone, like mobile phones. It's like, I need to get the word in with my dad before they get the story. Cause if you get your first one, they go off your story. Cause I'm blood. 
Oh, this cunt's just a teacher. So I worked out that they had this pay phone that no one used and I would get sent up the office. So I went, fuck this. Call dad, I go, wait, they're going to ring in, blame me, or oh, blame me for some shit, rah, rah. And I remember going in and Mr. Hale was always after me. He's like, oh, like, he's got this face, I've got you this time. And I put my, he's like, I'm ringing your dad. I go, okay, for it. And I put my feet up on his desk. He goes, get your feet down. And when he got on the phone to him, I put him back up. And he's like, yeah, it's Mr. Melbourne. Yeah, it's a good bloke. I, no, I don't know where you got, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and you go, go back to class. So I started learning how to like. You should have called in the, a bomb threat yeah, on your way to the office. School to me, my, uh, my cousin actually did that with candles. <laughs> He did it. He put. He wanted to not go to school, and they, on the weekend, they put a fake clock with candles and done a bomb threat, and then they, um, yeah, didn't open up the school until fucking they found hell. it for three days. <laughs> oh fuck, that's genius. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's just candles and a fucking bed clock. So there you go. If you want to get out of work or yeah. school, guys, bomb the cunts. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend to. Well, I found out school was fun, man. If you turned it to your table, well, it was like social. It was just like a social yeah. occasion. And just chicks go there and, and shit hang as out well. With friends like, and. It was more fun for like recess and lunch. Mm. Come class time, it was just like sleep time. I'd use fake notes too at the tuck shop. I yeah. learned how to print money and then I was using fake notes. So I wasn't paying for food. Would have been fun. Shit. Turning the place upside down. Yeah, fucking hell, mate. Oh, I went to the same school as Steve yeah. Irwin. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, oh, Clander wow. High, mate. With, with how, how he would have been like well graduated, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'm not fucking 60, <laughs> cunt. <laughs> nah, nah, we both went to prom together, bro. <laughs> He's a couple of years above me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was about 30 <laughs> years before. Was he back. school captain or anything? I wonder how he was at fucking school. <laughs> he would have been the biggest bogan, man. He goes, want to hang out after school? Yeah, oh, yeah, and yeah. Like, fuck off, Steve. some shit in his bag. <laughs> because I remember. I remember growing up Calm and going to, going to his thing and he was always just sweeping the cage. This is before he was known. He's like, how's it going, guys? You see the Crocs? And you're like, fucking yes, cunt. <laughs> and then he got whole fame. He was like, damn it, I wish I got friends with him. Yeah, <laughs> wow. He was just oh, a psycho fuck. guy. What about your um your parents? Do they what what do they think about what do they think about what you're doing, Paulie? Um, so obviously, um I spent a lot of time with Flopper. Flopper actually, the uh, he he brought me up. My parents passed away when I was younger. Oh fuck, I didn't know that. But yeah. um, so, uh, he he loves it. Like he thinks that it's you know. Yeah, well, he's, he's fucking, fucking cool. in. The, he's in <laughs> the videos. <laughs> and um, my auntie will she just goes with the flow. She yeah, she loves it. But she's like, oh, you should do. I got this idea, and you know, you should put toilet paper on his back or something. It's like, oh, that's a great one. <laughs> Shut it's up, Auntie! Just, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, and I just want to say it's the fucking shittest idea I've ever heard in my fucking life. But I sort of got us, you know, she's my auntie, and she did a lot for me, like as you, like, growing up. You do it, probably still get millions of views. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah. yeah oh wow. Well. What about your parents? Are they proud of you, Blake? I'd say so. Do they talk to you about the shit that you do? Uh, yeah, they profit. So dad's like retired now and he plays, he's always played lawn bowls and he um, there's an actual uncut kitchen lawn bowls team in Tassie. Oh, <laughs> oh really? He went to Tassie back home and, and I'm not from Tassie. I'm going to fucking do it. <laughs> but he, he went, <laughs> there's a scar there. He went there and he's got, they've got all shirts and now he's a big dog in fucking Tassie. Like, hey, fuck, that's fucking, that's Nigel fucking Blake's son. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's cool. Blake's son? Wait. That's that's no, that's, that's, that's Blake's dad. That's yeah. Blake's dad. Nigel's dad. son. Yeah. So you guys know more about yeah, it. I know. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, my, my mom's a legend, man. She's fucking, yeah. Is she hot? Yeah, she sounds yeah, hot. Yeah, she is. Cool. Dad's an idiot because they were married. He had this mustache and shit, had a banging wife, and then he blew it when I was two. Oh, I was like, and, and then he had all these deadbeat girlfriends after that. I'm like, bro. <laughs> the only cool girlfriend he did have, he dated this chick for like 15 years, and my stepdad was like uh, the police commissioner of Australia. Oh, oh Queensland, sorry. Yeah, Bob Atkinson. So, holy like, I used to be, when I was a little shit, going, like, drinking at parties, I'm like, Hey, Des, take us home to these other days. Like, oh, black guy, I'll fucking tell Bob. So I always used to get free lifts and go on their radio and just annoy the fuck out of them. Perks of some Holy power. Fuck. Yeah. So, what do you guys think you'd be doing if you weren't doing vids? Like, what job would you guys have? I'd still be wanking. Construction? What were you doing to construct? You uh, yeah, I, nah, nah. I was doing, I was 13 years of concrete pumping. My last job was at East Coast. So and I was, Matt does that. Yeah. Matt, 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 wholesome. Matt from wholesome. Oh, wholesome! You're an agi driver. No, I work with the Wait, wait, where are you? Where are you, an agi driver? No. Oh fuck! Did He's you mix been, concrete? No. He's always. Oh, he skipped the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you'd know East Coast then. Yeah, yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves ordering people. So yeah, I was like, I, I ran a few job sites and I, I actually fucking loved my job. It was very stressful and you can fuck up very easily and cost the company like fucking half a million within a couple of minutes if you lose a line or- Does that ever happen? If you crash a pump. Yeah, it happens all the so, time. Did you ever do that? Um, I never crashed a boom pump or flipped one. A lot of people have. Only one time- They get but, fired then immediately. No, nah, no, nah, there's- Well, it depends on how they set it up and that, but it's a very risky job where a lot of people when something- Things can go bad real quick because it's concrete, right? But under that, I thrive under it. I'm like, it's going bad and I'm going to fix this. And I was a young guy and everyone, those older people, like, they wouldn't risk putting old concrete in. You know, put concrete in a pipeline after like close to two hours old. I'm like, oh, we'll get this kind in. But like, I understood concrete a lot well, but like I was real risk taker, which kind of excelled me in it, but very ballsy because you yeah, if you up. fuck up, man, it's not a very good feeling. You got... 30 meters or uh, 30 stories of a tower with concrete that's gone off in heavy pipes it's a shit show all yeah. right so you, you there's no social media left you can't go back to that job what do you do oh Chef. only fans only Some fans sell this shit dick <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Nah, not a chef. I wouldn't work. The funny thing is about what I'm doing now, I've really skipped the line. Those poor chefs wash dishes and do all the cooking, the hard yards, all weekend work. I rock up, drink beer, cook some shit, and then fuck off, and I've got nothing to do with, like, I don't have a chef. I'm not a chef. and So, yeah, I don't think I'd ever be a chef. Yeah, it would be. Taking that way. It'd be, there's no, yeah, there's no life. It's kind of hectic. You have to really love it. But I, I don't know what I'd do, to be honest. Like... We'll start thinking about All it. Right. Right? I'll think about what it. About, what about you, you Paulie? Paulie? So, yeah, I um I worked at my last job for 16 years. I used to drive a loader back in northeast Victoria, like in the sticks. Yeah. We used to unload log trucks. Oh, so wow. So they'd come in from the all the pines and I'd unload the log trucks. And so we're talking like trucks that are like, what, 10 meters long? 20. Yeah, so, yeah, so they'd be... <laughs> <laughs> one, so we've got, we've got added, concrete and wood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, could yeah. make a house. Yeah, what are we doing? Here? So basically, yeah, the log trucks would just come in, and I'd unload the log trucks it, with your hands, just with my hands. I just go like this, <laughs> fucking chop the ropes, and then yeah. grab them and put them in the yeah. pile. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> fucking hell. So, I'm off a little bit. That's why the t-shirt's a bit baggy, but I was fucking bigger. That used to be tight on you. Yeah, it was tight as fuck. It was tight as fuck. But yeah, then I moved up here and I drove a dump truck. I went for a load of driving and ended up on this dump truck where I was driving it around for 11 hours of the day just thinking, I want to fucking kill myself. Like, this is fucking death. Like, yeah. just in and out of this one hole. Yeah, it does sound hard. Fuck. Dude, fuck. In and out of this one hole. You're still doing that. Guy. Every week and <laughs> like, you're in and out of a hole. This week is that fucking dude. Hot? Oh, so it's so <laughs> hot here, dude. I, I said no to Paulie, con. it's going to be hot if we run the wigs, man. I'm sitting here going, fuck, fuck my ears are itchy. <laughs> yeah, they get so itchy. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, we can't turn the fan on. It's just fucking hot in here. The rest yeah. of the house is it's nice. It's just this We've only got hot. What, two more episodes in here, then we got the live show. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, we're doing a live show yeah. for the finale, man. And oh, we've, there's going to be 200 fucking people watching us do this. Imagine this with 200 people there <laughs> instead of them two times 100. He's going to do it naked? Just Maybe, spice yeah. It up. yeah. Maybe, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I guess <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, what's, what's your favourite beers? I've, um, I used to be, my first beer I got onto when I came here and met all my skateboarding mates, they just, I never used to really drink beer, but I started on VB. I haven't drank that for a while now. Now I'm onto like XBA. So like Bolter. Good. the yeah, bolters are Bolter. good. Bolters are good. But I feel like they fucking get you with a hangover. Or oh, I'm getting old. I don't know which they, one. They're the strong ones too. The yeah, bolters. so I black out on them, which is fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the whole point, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, 100%. What about? I, my choice would probably be like if it was just one, if I was given one beer, just give us one of the big fucking King Brown, BB long necks. So it's, yeah, it's just down well. hot yeah. day. Yeah. Wait, um... How about boys? Down. You have we doing a we do a lying segment, right? Where we lie to Lockie every week. We try to. Should we try and get the boys to help us lie to Lockie? It's his birthday today. Yeah, he'll probably be fucking doing something, won't he? Fuck it, we got to try. I'm the best liar. I've lied this whole show. <laughs> All right, well let's. What, what can we? I've what lied can we my do? Whole life. Blake's not bad at a prank call, actually. <clears throat> mm. All right, well, well, let's fucking. Um, I'll put my phone on private. Yeah, maybe, maybe. What's uh? What's we need the subject? What's the subject? Yeah, something about his dad. Nah. 
Or something that's been stolen or something. G'day, mate. It's Gussel Hanson here from Palm Beach Police Station. Uh, am I speaking with a... Uh of he's he's really on to like yeah, he's he's because really? like, we've lied to him like a lot and he picks up yeah yeah he's well it's thursday night so it was so we gotta that's what i'm thinking he won't he won't immediately recognize either of your voices yeah fully I so don't let's try and use so let's try and use that to our advantage he probably won't answer a private call to be honest we, we got to try it so we call private and we we say look why don't we call Greg and Blake can talk because Greg won't recognize yeah, 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 Blake's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Greg something is, about his student, a kid. Yeah, yeah. So Greg, What's is, he do? Greg is our old tennis coach from like when we were kids, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we've just remained friends ever since. <laughs> yeah. So and he's yeah he's a fucking tennis coach. So let's just call him. You pretend to be a dad or one of the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just yeah, exactly. say um uh say that um one of the coaches hit a ball into your kid today yeah, and he's yeah, come yeah. home with a big bruise on his he's gonna say what what's the kid's name yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. just say yeah just say um candace <laughs> no, it's it's gonna be have to be little timmy you've or luke this. or something you've got this black hello this is greg yeah hi greg how are you is uh yeah, good i'm just uh is this greg from yes yeah, how's it going, mate? Um, I just want to talk to you about uh, my son Luke came home. Uh, one of your young coaches has just been belting him with the tennis balls. He's got three bruises, two on his hip and one in his back. Um, he's telling me, mate, that the coach has taken it out on him. Like, I'm taking my kids there to get taught how to play tennis, not taught how to take welts on the back. Mate, 100%. And sorry, sorry, what's your, ki- what's your kid, child's life, mate? Harper. Luke Harper. Yeah. Um, it's just disappointing because I'm taking him there to discipline and wait, wait, sports, oh, sorry, not just sorry. on. Yeah, no, 100%. Is this at which venue are you? Um, Kelvin Grove. I, at, at Kelvin Grove. Okay. Yeah, and he's yeah. in. Um, and I can he's send you through the pics. It's pretty disturbing. Like, I, yeah. No, no, no. Because like, I, I want to go down the courts and just line him up, you know what I mean? And get a tennis rack and show him how good my backhand is. No, 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 fair enough. How old is he? He's so young, mate. It's it's just ridiculous. He's 13, well, almost 14. And like that, he has a few bruises. That's from me, but that's he's my son. So I don't need him to go to tennis and get bruised from some other guy. And then you got two blokes bruising one kid. That's not fair. You know what I mean? Like it's he's getting hit with tennis balls. I don't know. Apparently he got put up against the fence and he goes, this is how you do it. Pull your shirt up. And then he serves bloody a one one forty at him. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this is uh, Marty. Greg, Greg, we fucking we had you for a bit. (laughs) We fucking had you there for a bit. The problem is, mate. The problem is, because there's no Luke Harper. (laughs) No, there's no Luke Harper. So I'm like. Luke Harper and then I went age I was like oh man and then 13 I was like nah there's no one in the world any of the 13 year olds would even play that game yeah I don't know and shit then- about tennis that's why I just picked that <laughs> I'll tell you what that was but you were pretty good though three three bruises and yeah, no, that was pretty good I was, like, I was actually what, were you, what would you do, good. Greg, if that fucking happened if like fuck are you gonna call as one of your coaches in a tennis ball and a kid cunt mate I've been in bed sick all afternoon oh, right? no. and so and so I'm like, I'm not answering my phone. I'm hey, just not no, answering Sorry, it. this this is Blake here. That, the boys told me if I got you, got you for at least a minute, I got like some free sessions or something. So is that still on the table? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh, you, you were scared oh. for a little bit, yeah, Greg. Greg. You were worried then, man. You thought you were getting sued hard, cunt. Nah. <laughs> I was like, uh, well, well, like when I was like, no, the first part of it was like pretty good because – it just sounded so well done. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, oh, sorry, sorry, about to, that. sorry about that, Craig. It's, no, that's okay. No, no worries. Uh, <laughs> sorry to waste sorry, your time. Um, I guess we'll, um, we'll we'll chat to you later. Let you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to bed and worry. sleep off your disease. <laughs> I don't flog my kid either. I don't have one. <laughs> oh, I love Yet. that bit. That bit was the best. There's a few bruises for me, but not from the dentist. <laughs> but he's my son. <laughs> <laughs> he's my son. We can't both be flogging him. It's not fair. <laughs> oh, good. oh, very good. Oh, have fun, boys. Yeah, Bye-bye. cheers, brother. We'll chat to you soon, eh? Yeah, right. Here.
Oh, so, yeah. Back. Yeah, so, right. Sorry. <clears throat> Oh, well, anyway, fucking got him, a, got got him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, that counts. It half counts. Got him a little bit. Yeah, we should have jumped in as soon as he was looking. We yeah, sh- that's no, when we should have jumped in. We made a mistake. Well, I, I didn't thinking. realize how much you guys have got him, or else I wouldn't have gone down the lines of the whole flogging thing a bit too much. Would have been <laughs> more like, overboard. Yeah, I was like, oh fuck. I baby. was like, I was sort of wanting you to get real fired up and start abusing him. <laughs> well, I was leading up to it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I just wanted to put some stuff in first and get him thinking. Yeah, yeah. But it was the 13. I actually gone 13, 14. I was like, I don't know shit about tennis. Don't you start young to be good? Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. You got to start when you, as soon as you're born. Oh, yeah. As soon as you're born. So you came out just back (laughs) in the woods. Swinging. Handed a racket. I think I said to him, I think you served a 140 at him. Isn't it like a 140? If if you're talking miles, that's that's pretty accurate. Yeah. Yeah. I know tennis. Look at that. Fucking oath, come on. (laughs) <laughs> All right, boys. Well, thank you very much for coming on. That's you're welcome to sit and um, watch the rest of the show, or you can fucking have it do some burnouts in the front have yard, whatever you just want to do. Have you got any food in the fridge? Yeah, yeah go help yourself. It's Matt's. Oh, to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna have a quick a bong break, and we'll be back with the rest of the shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Go, Michael. Go. Go quick. What the fuck, man? What is this? Oh, Matt. Do you want a swappy swappy? Yeah, that'd be lovely. All right, Matt. You know what it's time for. It's time for the Bachelor Brown segment. And this is a segment where we help our mid-40s friend here, I'm 35. I'm 35. Find someone to spend the rest of his life with because he does not know how. He's been single since he's like 15 or some shit. I have not. And he doesn't know how to talk to women anymore. (laughs) And today we have a very special Bachelorette come on. And actually, Michael and I are going to leave and just let you take center stage here because I feel like sometimes I know we're trying to give you guidance you never fucking leave but sometimes I feel like we might be like it's too much information coming in and we'll give you very simple straightforward just stay confident and just try and keep the conversation flowing you're a confident mid 40s man you're at a high level job at concrete okay concrete is your life it runs through your veins (laughs) you can do this Matt Brown all right. I don't like that he's at the door and I don't like that you guys are taking off his shit. Fuck me. It's a lie. It's a lie. Right, can this week's bachelor, bachelor at Brown please come forward and sit right here? Is it poorly? That would be nice. This is going to get weird. <laughs> well, Put your headphones what a, on. What an honor, baby. Then you can hear me. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, that's fucked. What are you doing? Be normal. <laughs> what do you mean? I thought I'd just... Um... We got red money. <laughs> Don't be shy. Why are you all standing over there? I want to help you, bro. He's Stop hot. jumping around. You're, you're making the camera shake. Talk He's to me. He's tanned and you're white. <laughs> yeah, you are very nice skin. Where are you from? Thank you. Um, so... I've got a uh, Italian background and a Spanish back- background. No. So, have you got any Italian in you? No. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Not yet. <laughs> <in you? laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Paulie, if you, if you do, you know what you've committed to. Absolutely. Because if yeah. I pick you in the top five, you got to come to the live, man. Mate, I'll be there. Hundred oh. percent. That's if he makes top five. Oh, stop it. Um, That'd be shy. I know, you're making me nervous now. Oh, yeah. Do you like Lord of the Rings? Uh, honestly, I, I I don't, but I'd be... Matt, <laughs> 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 nah, oh. I would love to sit down and start from the start of Lord of the Rings and you can show me the whole way through. That's the most commitment I've had out of all the girls. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um what 
Oh yeah. Um. So the extended cuts are a bit longer. So the originals are like three and a half, but the extended are like four hours. Would you commit to a four hour movie with me? So uh, what we 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 watch it and then we we go again. Basically, is what yeah. you're saying. Well, there's three of them. Yeah. But you know, each one's four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'll, 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 He's sexual, your tits. Don't be shy. I, I can't. Pop one. Squeeze one. your breasts together. Squeeze breasts your breasts together. <laughs> um, so, so you're from the Gold Coast? Nipples? No, what? But, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't rip the mother shirts. Uh, oh, Michael. No, I'm not, I'm not doing, doing, doing that. What he's doing, I'm not right? doing that. That's no, I agree. I'm not with, doing that. I agree with Michael. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Fuck. Um. Oh, sorry. I thought you were doing no, you're something. Right. No, you're right. <laughs> I was just, I was just um, hiding my. Uh... Wait. So where are you from? Like, are you for you? Do you live on the Gold Coast? What you do to him in the bedroom? Man? Shut up! I'm trying to find where he lives. So yeah, I'm from the Gold Coast, Matt, and uh, you're welcome down anytime. Whereabouts on the Gold Coast do you live? I live in uh, Kira. Oh, okay, I yeah. grew up in Palm Beach. Palmy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Work with me, Matt. Work with me. Oh, I'm not. Uh, um, I don't know. Ask him, I, ask him if he likes anyone from the podcast more than a friend. <laughs> uh, do you like anyone from the podcast more than a friend? <laughs> yes. Oh! Oh, sorry. I didn't get what that I meant. I thought you meant follow yeah, as in walk around. Back, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it okay if um, I follow you on Instagram? I'll follow you right back. Okay, cool. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking if you ever considered going out with anyone from the podcast. No, I don't want to be that full. Yeah, no, say it, you fucking cunt. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down, Julian. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, if, um, um, you're right, keep going. Um, if, um, yeah, would you ever consider dating someone from the podcast group? Yes. Oh, oh fuck! Holy He's shit. mincing, he's mincing. Holy shit, well hey, done. Whoa, whoa. Oh, don't don't destroy the set. Okay, uh, what do I say? Um, yeah, so um, what I'll do, I'll follow on Instagram. Um, I'll get with, together with the boys. We'll sort out if you made the top five or not. If you make the top five, that uh, means you get to come to the live and you get to sit on, I guess you get to sit on stage with me as I choose the winner. Yep, and maybe if I'm the winner, I can sit on your face. <laughs> It's too, too hot in here. <laughs> you did so well. Thanks. You did so well, man. Thank you. That was hot. You nailed it. And there you go. All right, Matt, what did you think? And be honest. What did you think? He's got very nice skin. Yeah, he, Do you like him more than Ethan and Greg? Olive. Is Does he it, the hot male? Is it just his tan? All right, so just for, just forget he's here for a second, all right? Yeah. It's just you and us. Is it? How How is he in relation to the top five? I need the board. I get so the we've board got out. Isla, Greg, Jess from the UK, Carly, and Leah. Greg can't make it to the finale, by the way. Fuck off, he can't. No, he can't. He's pulled out. He's got a tennis tournament on. It's actually golf, <laughs> but whatever. I still want to keep Greg in there. He's, he deserves it. All right. Well, we're gonna have. Is it's, oh, I'm so sorry, but Carly's gonna have to go. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Carly. Wow, that's big. That's Whoa. big, Paulie. All right. Well, so Paulie's in the top five. So there is three. Oh wait, no, two males. 
<laughs> Two males in the top five. So we've lost Ethan now. Yeah, Ethan's gone. fuck. I feel bad because I kind of like Ethan. I, I, he's, Ethan's coming to the finale. Is he coming? Oh, he yeah. better come. He's coming, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. He'll right. be in the crowd, but coming like- in your ass. Ooh. <laughs> fuck but yeah. Man. Holy shit. Brown, I like your- you did, was, you did well, you, man. You're getting better at shit. Well, I, was, I feel like I was you do better nervous. The, I didn't know what was coming through the door. Jillian got me with that one. Yeah. I, but, um, I feel like you do better with the boys. Maybe you should start <laughs> investing more time in that area. <laughs> and yeah. like, I think you're better in person on the phone. You, I don't know. It's something I, I have to admit, yeah, in person is, I don't know, surprisingly easier. And dude, I think because you thrived with your favorite things like the Lord of the Rings mm. and stuff like that. Yeah, wow. And anyway. the Palm Beach connection. Yeah, that was unreal. That was eh? crazy. <laughs> we all lost our shit then, man. I don't that know was if you could fucking hear us. sick, bro. Fucking yeah. sick. Anyway, oh. that's Bachelor Brown for this week. And there will be a conclusion to the Bachelor Brown segment on the live fucking show, the finale. Yeah. Who's in my top five? I've for, kind of forgotten. Let's have a look. So we've a got quick look. <laughs> Isla, um, Isla Greg, Greg, Jess from the UK, yep. Paulie now, and Leah. Leah. Okay. <laughs> Put it there. All right, guys, moving right along to a brand new segment. And this segment is brought to you by one of our new sponsors, maybe. Mother Energy Drink. And Mother Energy Drink are running a campaign where they want you to canfess, confess, confess, things that you wouldn't ever share with your real mother. Only the mother drink. So we had people send in and anonymously send in some confessions that they would never share with their real mother. And we're going to take it in turns to fucking read some now. If you want to send in your confessions, either DM the Marty and Michael Instagram or the Marty and Michael fully actual Instagram. We're going to compile them all and then we're going to read out the most fucked up ones. All right. These are stories from complete strangers, true stories, things that their mothers don't know. Should I start with one? Oh wow! Have you got one? Yeah, yeah it's my on. own. All right, Brown. Oh, you've got. Oh, your own. All so right, there's one. Up. I need to confess something. My, if my mum hears it, it's gonna be fucked because she trusts. Me. There's a lot of things on this podcast that your mother should <laughs> never hear about. So um, when I was 14 and I was first had sex. Oh my god. Um, have number one. Uh, or she was number one. Yep. Your mum. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway. Uh. Well, I was quite nervous about um, the the parents finding out that we're having sex. We didn't know how to 14, break it. Fourteen, man. Um, and basically, I would uh, I would hide the condoms. I would put a knot in the condoms and I'd hide them in my wallet so the so her parents use didn't condoms. Catch, yeah, so her parents didn't catch them, and my parents wouldn't find out either. I'd throw them out when I I'm yeah. Away. No one ever looks in wallets. Anyway, ever. one night I um I forgot to throw the condom out. So I had a full condom on your dick in my wallet. And uh, anyway, my mother, I can't remember why, but my mother wanted something and I opened my wallet to look for it. I can't remember, it might've been like Medicare card she was asking for. And so I had, we had like a family shared Medicare card and I had one. And so I opened my wallet to get it and the condom literally fell out. And I've gone <gasps> and dropped, picked it up. My mother's looked at me and gone, that's not used, is it? And I was like, <laughs> And I lied to her and said, no, no, we just, I just opened one and, you know, for the boys and we're having a laugh. And, oh, you would have gone so was, red and fumbled your words and she would have known you were lying. Looked, she looked straight in my soul like she knew I was lying, but she, as a, as a great mother, accepted my lie. <gasps> oh, wow. And that's my Holy confession. Fuck, man. That is crazy. So she I never knows. knew that about you. All right, this next anonymous confession is from Julian Woods. <laughs> Should we get yeah, Julian? You, you come on, tell it. <laughs> come and sit with me, Julian. Yeah, My no. story's shit compared to your guys now. Oh, nah. But well, when we, I was like, I won't say though. the specific age, just because if I do say the real age, you'll be like, you're People a sad sack of shit. Oh, so. But I was a teenager. Could be very late in my teens. That's sad. But my parents went overseas to America, and when they came back, they had heaps of leftover like U.S. cash. So I went into my parents' room and stole it all. It was probably like 500 bucks US. And the next day my mom found out like almost immediately 
and she blamed it on the cleaners who they just hired. It was like this Indian couple who barely spoke a lick of English and they were in the cleaning the day before and she's rang them up, fired them and then just abused them. And they're like crying on the other end oh of the phone, God. like not being able to speak English properly. These are hectic I patients. felt fucking nothing. And I bought myself a new bike from Ashgrove Cycles. <laughs> US <laughs> cash. It was fucking sick, Maddie. <laughs> oh, fuck. Can we tell, you, can we tell, tell your mum that? Huh? Can we tell your mum that? No, don't. Oh. <laughs> Dude, don't. Dude, <laughs> she's called no, Tracy oh, right, right now. Do not, do not, it's called do Tracy not, right, right now. It's anonymous. It's anonymous no, from Julian Woods. No, fuck it. No, hey, show me your phone. <laughs> do not call my mum. Yeah, your mum watches for the it. next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, no, shut she the fuck up, She likes all the Matt. pictures. What pictures? The pictures that I post on the fully actual page. That wasn't on here. Anyway, Stop. look, we need to move on. Look, well, I'm not. It's next confession. <laughs> confession number four. All right. This is from someone sent this in. When I was younger, my siblings and I hated Christmas Eve. My mum would always make us drink the Christmas juice and we hated it. Wasn't until I was older, hanging out with my friends, they were excited for Christmas. I said I hated it because having to drink Santa's Christmas juice. They all looked at me funny. That's when I found out that all these years she's been drugging us with the Nyquil to put our asses to sleep. Smart though, so then oh. that you can put the presents out easily. Whoa. Yeah, and then the and kids just pass out. Think about the trauma of all those nights on Christmas Eve where you're just waiting up all night and you don't enjoy Christmas because you're up all night and then yeah, the next you're day. You're ruined. If so your mum does that, she's helping you, puts you to sleep. Christmas comes quicker, you get your gifts. So the mum pretty much like Jeffrey Dahmer, her own kids yeah. for good. Something I would never tell my mother or anyone else. I share my husband with my girlfriends. That's fucked up, man. Oh, like some cuckold shit. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. You oh, sent that one in. Sorry. <laughs> so, anyway. Look, well, well, what about this one then, hey? What about fucking this one? Oh, God. Here we go. I slept with my ex-boyfriend's dad for 10 years. He found out and still stayed with me, and I still carried on doing it. His dad was better than him. Wow. See, That's he should cool, Who man. found out the dad? Was the dad... The <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> Imagine How do you stay dad, with imagine, dad? Found out imagine, after ten you, years. Imagine, or, put yourself, put yourself in that position. You find out a girl that you're dating has been fucking your dad, Julian. Fucking sick, hunt dad. Fucking legend, good puss. Oh, anyway, that is the mother can fashion segment. Send in because. your confessions, guys, because I guarantee you, this segment's just going to get progressively more fucked. Look, Matt and Julian are kissing, and mother so will love that too. Oh, are it tastes delicious. Book? Paulie's right here. And are you doing the black book? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're doing it now. Yeah. <clears throat> ruining my chances of Paulie. All right, guys. Drink mother. Moving right along. Mm. I might have another sip. It's delicious. <clears throat> All right, now. Sugar. Moving on to on this day, and this is where Matt comes in, and he researches as hard as he can and finds something that happened on this day in history. Don't you, Matt? And you take this very seriously. You put in lots of hours, and then you send it to me. Don't you? Don't you? That's what you do. That's you. You write this. It's yours. Here we go. <laughs> On this day in 1578, the battle between right and left began. Right demanded the immediate surrender of left, but left sent in a, a full surprise attack. Left slaughtered the right and right had to retreat. Right regrouped in the middle. Right outnumbered left three to one. The next day, right surrounded left. They slowly advanced and at sundown, right attacked. It was a total slaughter and left did have to surrender. Left suffered such heavy casualties that these days, Left only makes up 10 to 15% of the population. Right was right all along. I'm Matt Brown and I love sitting in a nice hot bath and shaving my legs. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why most people these days are right-handed. 90% in fact. Except for me. Well, you're one of the 10%. Oh yeah. You were back in the day when the lefts fought the rights. Disgusting. <laughs> All right, next is um, my diary, okay? And this is where I've just found old diary entries that I find around lying around mum's place, all right? Back when I was a little German boy. <clears throat> diary entry number 37,888,888. Million <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. That's so good. Oh. Today, my class went on a school excursion to the zoo. 
I was so excited. On the bus, I went to sit at the back, but some of the Australian boys said that the back is only for Australians. I said, that's okay, and sat at the front with the teacher. We got to the zoo, and I cried with happiness when I saw the giraffe. It had such a nice long neck. The other kids all teased me and said that the giraffe is my mother or something because its neck is the same as mine. I laughed, but it really did hurt my feelings. At lunch, I didn't have any food, and one of the kids threw animal poo at my back. I started crying and ran to the bus. My favourite day was ruined. It was a pretty good day. (laughs) Your favourite day was ruined, and that's a pretty good day. Holy shit, giraffes. There's a fabulous photo of you in... Spain. Look, it's no secret that I love zoos. Yeah. Every fucking place we went in Europe, if there was a zoo there, even in Thailand, in Bangkok, we went to a zoo. He was at this this zoo in Barcelona and there's a photo of you feeding a giraffe (laughs) with the happiest face I've ever seen. (laughs) He's just like, oh, we've got to find it. They are beautiful and majestic animals. And the giraffe, yeah, the giraffe is like 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 licking the leaves out of his Man, those animals look so weird. You never see that. You never see that walking around Brisbane. Have you seen them battle with their necks? Yeah, dude. That's how you fight. Exactly. (laughs) All right, next we have Michael's Bible. And this is a, where Michael has taken all of his wisdom and he's just funneled it into a little book. And he's actually written his own Bible. And he prefers to be referred to as Beezus during this. It's like Jesus accepts. You are a fuckhead, dude. Kind of nervous. Okay, this is... It's just scrambles down. It's not really chapters. Scrambles. A picnic. Oh, a picnic with Rick. I said a picnic with Dominic. Oh, a picnic. Oh, who shall I pick to have a picnic in the park there is one person I'd like to spend the day with one person I really really like him one person guess who he is that person is Michael and that's relatable to everyone listening you can take that however you want but that applies to you so thank you dude that's okay I've never wanted to Superman punch someone in the face so badly. What's a Superman punch? Where do you get these violent tendencies from? <laughs> Dude, what do you mean? Do you not so get angry? angry. Do you hear that? No, I felt, I felt love and inspiration for It's you. a song yeah. about myself. Uh, yeah, I, I felt quite, it's I'm self-love. actually quite motivated. It's not a song. It's self-love. All right, everyone, fucking listen up. It's time for yes. Matt Brown's Black Book. And this is where he has written all of his sexual experiences from his whole entire fucking life. And let me tell you, this cunt is the most fuck twisted cunt used to be. And he has written it all down. He's written it all in this book. I'm going to read you an entry out of it, okay? Here we go, everyone. Fucking get ready. Okay. So as you remember last week... He went over to Jeff Dahmer's house and Jeff has drugged him. And to get Jeff off of him, he's had to go into his dream state and he's going to try and have a wet dream so he can jizz his hot mints on Jeff in real life to get him off. Like but it turns out Queston, his brother, is in the dream controlling it. Wow. And he has nice. attacked Queston. And that's where we left it. You remember? So they're fighting in the dream. And there's thousands of questions there. And it's, it's like raining. Matrix Smiths. I don't know what the Matrix Agent is, Smith. but yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> so it's a continuation from Have number 71. My huge body lurched forwards as a large amount of rage and adrenaline saturated my swollen heart. Thousands of questions watched on as I careered towards the main speaking question. I balled my hand into a fist and drove it square into Queston's fucking eye socket. His head snapped back and his shitty black sunglasses shattered. Shards of sunglasses powerfully embedded deep into his left eye as he flew backwards and disappeared into the crowd of questions. The other questions stared at me, stunned. Just as I was thinking that maybe this was going to be easy, I saw the main question jump up and out of the sea of questions straight for me. I could see 
his left eye was destroyed from my attack, but he was too fast. He slammed his knees straight into my chest, and I flew backwards and skidded along the road. I tried to stand immediately, but he was already on top of me. He straddled me and pinned my arms down with his. Then he started headbutting me over and over and over and over. Bang, bang, bang. My skull banged into the road over and over again. I managed to free one of my arms and with an outstretched thumb, drove it straight into his other eye as he headbutted down at me. Question pulled back and let out a shriek. I rolled over so I was on top of him now and started scratching at him like a panicking house cat. My fingernails tore strips of skin off his face and chest and Chris Queston desperately tried to blindly deflect my scratching arms with his own. Help! Screamed Queston and all the other Questons started converging on me. I stood and started spinning on the spot with my arms outstretched. I spun so fast I became a blur and as the Questons reached me they were smashed away by my spinning arms. I spun so fast that as soon as they came into contact with me their heads would be ripped off of their bodies and their torsos would drop to the ground. I spun faster and faster until I lifted off the ground like a fucking helicopter cunt. I could hear the main question beneath me, groaning in pain from his injuries, completely blind. I flew up and up, hundreds of meters as I spun. I flew so high that I reached the edge of the Earth's atmosphere. Then I stopped spinning midair and started falling straight down with my right knee pointed down at the ground. I gained massive amounts of speed and morphed my body into a more aerodynamic shape. I was travelling at such speed that my knee caught fire. I break through the clouds and look down to see all the questions still surrounding the main question. I line him up and fucking bang! I land my knee directly on Queston's neck. The force of the impact was like a meteorite hitting Earth and Queston's body is savagely blown to pieces, leaving a huge crater. All the other questions are blown back and most are killed instantly. I quickly stand, but my knee is destroyed from the impact. I knew I didn't have much time before Dharma killed me in real life, so I gritted my yellow bloody teeth and crawled to the closest quest and corpse. I pulled its pants down and fed my little brown straight into its ass. The sounds of thousands of moaning questions stiffened my cock in an instant and I started fucking. Look at me now questions! I'm your fucking god! <laughs> thousands of you and one of me! I started fucking harder and harder as I continued to boast. I could see the remaining questions rolling around in pain and glancing back at me while I absolutely destroyed this corpse. I got that feeling in my legs and with one final thrust, I pulled the dead Queston's body into me and buried my dick as deeply as I could. Mints began flowing. I had done it. I had turned this nightmare into a wet dream which means I must be coming in real life too. I sprayed my mints around wildly like an unmanned fire hose. Then I felt myself start to wake up. My ejaculation was enough to wake me from the deepest of sleepers. Pop! I wake up in back in reality and hear Jeff screaming, Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, my face. My body was still extremely weak, but my mints had splashed all over Jeff and he was stumbling around the room with his cock out. I could hear my mints burning into his skin. I looked down at my body and see, see that he had stabbed a hole in my stomach and had been fucking it. I must have been seconds from death. Oh, holy shit. I can't fucking see, man. I picked up a knife laying next to me and stabbed it into Jeff's back. He fell to the ground. Listen here, Jeff. You're going to go to the cops and turn yourself in. You're going to tell them everything, or I will come back and kill you. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, Matt, I promise. Please, please. Uh. I stumbled out of the house and walked home, fueled by a rage I'd never felt before. I had to find Queston and kill him in real life, once and for all. Wow. So Whoa. The dream question. If you kill the dream question, that's killing question. No, no, you just killed him in the dream. Now he has to go and kill him in real life. So, but you are the reason why Jeffrey Dahmer is in confess. You're the reason why he was just so open with it. So you are a good guy. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Matt. Dude, I feel so privileged sitting next to you right now. Thank you so much, Matt. Seriously, dude. Say sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, a couple still flicking around. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ha. Oh, oh. What have we got now? We fucking. Why are you looking out there? I'm looking at the board or whatever. Oh. Like shit written on it. <clears throat> yeah. Every time he looks out the door, I get nervous something's coming. Yeah, fuck me. That takes it out of me. Hey, that black book. Dude, you're sweating. Yeah, fucking oath I am, man. cunt. 
It's like a gym workout. Look at his shirt. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh. This female mother shirt. I'm <laughs> glistening in the whites. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for questions. We'll do the co- the comment of the week first, which Matt has butchered the entire season. <laughs> we have a board <laughs> where we're meant to put all the questions that win, but we never Dude, do. There's like seven of them. We'll, we'll yeah, have I've, got it, I've got them all. We'll have it done for the finale. But if you if Matt picks you for this, you're in the running to win $1,000 at the end of the season. All right? You all know this. Get on with it. What have you chosen, Matt? This will be good. <laughs> um, comment of the week went to Pat Mahomes. Oh, God. Um, Always comments. Very good, dude. Um, Marty and Michael are such Karens when they role play as customers. Oh, fuck me, Matt. Matt, that is so... F- of course you picked that, Matt. You guys do. That had no <laughs> likes on it, by the way. I had four likes in that screenshot. That four's <laughs> nothing. That's all we get. <laughs> that is. Yeah, that, fuck. That is a fucking... There you go. Mahoney, you're in the running to well, win a thousand dollars with that. Mahomes. Mahomes. Um, all right, now we're going to answer some of your questions. So if you want us to answer your question, comment on the Marty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So once you comment your question, have a scroll through and like the other questions that you want us to fucking answer. Go, Matt. Uh, so uh, first question from Sam Warner. Um, have you guys mastered the ability to take pranks from each other in a comedic way, no matter the situation? So um, how much do you guys suppress genuine anger? So do you guys hide anger at all? Yeah, sometimes when I the don't. cameras are rolling. Yeah, Julian's shit at it, at hiding I'm anger. Bricks yeah, at yeah. Michael. Yeah. But yeah, Julian gets very mad. Yeah, but sometimes, yeah, there is there is a rage suppression. But like, Can you it, give an example? What about when I shoved anal beads up my ass the other day and then smashed Flicked them on my ass? If he did that to me, I would have absolutely lost my shit. Yeah. I've been doing it as long as them. They've only been like pranking. No, for like we've been years. doing this since we were fucking fifteen. Not the anal beads thing, but no, I've been getting too, but not like that. That's disgusting. Yeah, we filmed a website video the other day where we beat each other with sex toys, and Michael decided to thread the entire anal beads up his ass Dude, and slap me on the face. You got so them. deep. Too. You helped. Yeah, no, yeah, I did help. I pushed. Oh, actually, I shouldn't. Have <laughs> 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 the edit but no Michael was like oh, I'll get up to like three he got like five in like up to the ones that were like this round Fuck yeah, yeah. I was so proud of you brother yeah Serious. and then I slapped him on my well done, see. you'll see it's on the website but to answer your question yeah but not so much anymore it's like you know you get fuck. used to the pain in the game but <laughs> yeah then when you realise of course there's going to be a camera rolling you don't want to be like <gasps> because it's like hypocritical. Yeah, no, no, there's hypocritical. times when I'm like, I, like you, it happens, and you're like, oh, there's definitely a camera, so you just like chill with it. But then there's times that you do shit that is too far, and I just look you in the eyes, and you just always have this little look. Oh, dude! <laughs> 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 Even now, I just want to jump out and just like Homer Simpson does to Bart, just yeah, strangle you. Yeah, you don't like me much. <laughs> <laughs> you're my best mate <laughs> oh. um, next question is from milking stool oh, that's good <laughs> it's even a big got a picture of a milking stool <laughs> fuck where is your milking stool that's just there yeah. um, alright uh, questions from milking stool can you all uh, will you guys be oh well, can you also stream the live show for fans abroad so Will you leave? Will you? Will we stream the live? No, show we're not going to stream it like live, but we will be just filming it and editing it and posting it like it a normal. It would cost so podcast. much money to do a proper live stream live. The only way we could ever possibly do it is off a phone, and that plus would then who? Terrible. Plus then who would pay to come? Because you just watch it live. Exactly. Flala, huh? Flala, yeah. Business, huh? Watch it on the Cash. YouTube and get keen for us to come near you. Mm, yeah. Well, if this goes <laughs> well, I'm so come. scared we're going to be shit. Come. I'm so scared we're going to be shit. So it's hard to yeah, sorry block out for the, the future. Like whoever bought tickets, no, dude. Just, hey, that's why we made the them intro so cheap. That I'm making it when I warm you guys and up. It'll be so much. It'll and like look, you're coming out with us after. Like, yeah, we'll yeah, have we'll some have some beers. beers after. So it's like you know, just we yeah, can, maybe we won't do it. Maybe we'll just sit there. We might cancel it. Yeah, mm. sorry. Maybe we'll prank everyone. <laughs> Not show up. Yeah, good one. That's the lie. That's the lie. Hmm. Lying to fans, it's a final line segment. <laughs> and we take their money. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that's so sick. Bro. Yeah, that is sick. Uh, next question is from D Coda, who I think is coming to the live Jeez, show. Yeah. Um, have you warned the venue about the live show? Not really, no. We Do told we them it's to? I said that it's very dark humor, but we haven't really <laughs> Like, Imagine how much they're gonna freak out about my intro. And the black I- book as well. Like it's pretty intense what you've written mm. in there, Matt. It's like yeah, it's hard to hear sometimes. Sorry. Right. Is it a special black book for the finale? I, I don't know. I don't read ahead. Fuck. Matt? 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 You'll see. Sorry. <laughs> oh. 
Look at the way bro. he just scrolls. He's looking he's through sickening. OnlyFans catalogs. <laughs> <laughs> he's flicking through his subscriptions. He's flicking Couple around. Flicking around. <laughs> um, next question is from Victor Calvo. 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 Um, would you let the ringworms ask questions live in the season finale or, or we have some kind of direct interaction during oh, the show that's with the a guys? great idea that'd, that'd be a good thing to get them to line both sides or just one side and give them a microphone I was thinking about that actually or that's we could a, let them uh, yeah, they might if, unless like they could go badly though so we'll have some backed up just in case everyone gets scared and doesn't want to say, ask a question oh, there's 200 people there of course people will want to ask you something there's people who are going to dress up People uh, have messaged me saying they're going to dress up like how you've oh, dressed yeah, up that's during the podcast. Idea. Oh, it'd be great to see uh, some characters. Yeah, in some the people scene. are traveling far. Dude, we should I read probably, a comment. Someone's driving twelve hours. We should probably tell tell the whatever venue we're going to after that. Like, there's a f- like hundred people coming. I could organize I, is that. that. Is that okay? Oh, uh, yeah, you can do it. But like a hundred people is a lot of people. Even if fifty come, that's still a lot. But I can tee something up with some venues. Worst case scenario, oh, we'll just thanks, go man. to the park. Shut the fuck up, man. Sorry, yeah, we'll get a few mate. goon bags and go to the park. Like that is true. High school days. Yeah, we'll supply the booze. There's a place in the gap called Pedo Bench. Massive field, uh, three seater bench. It is crazy. Dump is way outside the city. Doesn't matter, man. It's Too worth far. it. Sorry. Sorry. Get on some scooters. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Question for the podcast from Manuel oh, Manuel Salamaron, depending where he's from. Oh, yeah. um, question for the podcast: Who is the most romantic out of all of you? I'm going to say Marty. Marty for sure. <sighs> yeah, he did the Michael Amy proposal Shark proposal. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Then again, Michael's becoming more romantic as days goes on. Yeah, I'm very so. romantic behind the doors, but I'll never let any of the boys see that because that looks like I'm trying, and that shit's. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt used to be. Well, you you become more romantic as well. You're I like, can be with who? With um <laughs> with the porn stars that he watches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he puts rose petals out. He's yeah. on Isla's OnlyFans right now. <laughs> Don't talk about Isla. Have like you ever that. looked at her OnlyFans? And be honest. No, honest. Why not? Can we, oh, we should get a lie detector for the. If we gave you some money, put him through. If the we ringer. gave you some money, would you do it? No, I'd rather sign after up you to smoke you meth. After you smoke, <laughs> oh, 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 we're teeing that up. By the way, That's Julian's happening. got it teed up, so we'll have the meth at the boys. For those who don't oh, know, hey, Matt hey, agreed to, to smoke you know, meth for a thousand dollars. I'll do it with you. I don't want to do. We meth can lock meth. arms and. It'll be good. So, next question is from Amy Jones. Uh, do you guys plan to have Henry on uh, at any time? I'm sure we'd ha- he would have some great stories about you. Guys. Yeah, we're going to invite next him. Next season, we'll get him on. We'll get, we've invited him to the finale just to sit in the crowd, cool. not to come on. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. He's, he doesn't like like... Yeah, remember uh, we discussed this once and we weren't sure crowds and stuff. To. Yeah, I don't think he'll be... A, I reckon next season we'll get him on. He'll come on as a yeah, guest. We'll, he's we'll agreed. Just, he said yeah, he'll we'll just on. get him drunk and then we'll get him on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think he's down to just come on and talk about old stories and shit. Sorry, Sorry. 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 Uh, next question is from Alex Finnegan. Uh, if Michael wins a game, will the host leave him alone or will the host only come back stronger? I don't know, but Michael has won. Michael games. has won. Michael before. won the last one with the uh, mouse traps, but then he got disqualified. Yeah, so close. Sorry. So, yeah, it has happened. You're he so has won bad games. at pronouncing names, too, man. I'm like, you're butchering every single one of these. It's just racist. Do I look like I can? Sorry. Oh, Sorry. you don't care about the fans? Wow. <laughs> Depends where they're from. Oh, oh. 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 Wow. Next question is from Colin. Co- oh, wait, Kili. wait. And boys, don't feel like you have to stay. Sorry if we're keeping you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Kyle. Paul is sleeping over. Um, oh. Next question is from <laughs> Kyle. And Kyle has asked. Um, um, what did Michael and Julian's yeah, loved ones think of the highly one, scientific so pineapple oh, experiment? Dude. Their loved like, ones don't know about that. Dude, yes, they do. Oh, your loved ones do. Man, man, like the chick I was seeing at the time, her roommate, my Cursor. parents, curse. Dude, okay, so I got home and I thought it would be funny to be like, oi, boys, to like the group chat of rappers that I'm in. So it's like, curse are complete. Like all these like well-known rap rappers. Together. I'm like, oi, boys, I fucking, <laughs> I drank my own juice today. And they're like, what? And I was like, oh, no, nah, it was funny, but like I didn't swallow it or nothing. They were like, no, nah, but you, you had come in your mouth and then i by mistake had already sent the videos which they had saved like just snippets of me doing it and that was what two years ago now and it still gets brought up every single day when it's, i go like what's up boys they go what up come guzzler that's what they call me what it's about cool. you? Did, did have you told anyone that, think, that, that you love 
Oh, fuck, I don't really love much. I don't, you don't love, I love much. Love. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, Amber knows, and that's like, fuck, it's your own cum. So like, for those who don't know. Everyone should do it. For those if you're know. over 18, come and eat it yourself. Well, I know. My look, chick friends don't get oh, At parties and kick-ons, I'll be like, look at this. People don't care. It's just like the, the first people I told were rappers who wouldn't usually yeah, yeah, you know yeah, for those who don't know don't we're talking about a website that. video where we ate cum well <laughs> where <laughs> you we did it you uh, fucking yeah. weasel uh, well I, I was this, one of us needed to be the, the scientist statistics. I had yeah, to get all true. the data so the boys ate pint. they came into a cup then they ate pineapple and came into a cup again to see if the rumours are true Dude, that it really like does affect flavour but you gotta and watch the video no you gotta watch um, the video I mean you gotta watch the video <laughs> it does it's crazy, man. The, yeah, they so cum it, was like, it, it was pineapple wild. juice. And, and mine was post bender cum as well. I just had a shit diet, been oh, doing all sorts. That's, and remember that's I was gagging on the first, yeah. It doesn't taste bad. nice, but like- It's like egg whites and sea salt that's gone a bit off. Yeah, especially the first one was in the fridge and the cold yeah. going- I was in so there. worried that you were going to swap the jars I and did. I was- You're lying. Yeah. <laughs> we just, well, after you got so angry, we just never told you. You're lying. Because <laughs> yeah, we knew you'd freak out. Bullshit. Well, we'd done it and then like, because I'd already changed the labels and then like, you said you'd kill me. So we like, fuck. Yeah, I was like- no, so so It's been so long now. You no, not told him that. You're fucking kidding. You knew? <laughs> You're fucking lying. Oh, Swear I just remember. Lying. They told me, but I don't remember. Swear Amber's lying. I, I thought you would know. I'm sorry. Dude, <laughs> that is so far. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. You're lying. Like, okay, thank God. <laughs> Man, feel my palms. Yeah, back. I felt the anger in the couch. Dude, feel that. Oh. Dude. <laughs> Oh man, even if that was two years ago, drinking some, your jizz. Mm -hmm. So you're lying? Yeah, I'm lying. Okay, go oh God. I All might right. be lying about lying. <sighs> no, next up. question. Two questions left. Um, Next one's from, uh, I can't say this name at all. It's going to be Yannick. Yannick? Yannick? <coughs> just have, just yeah. say it with confidence, Matt. Yannick Walton. There you go. Walton. Done. Um, will there be bong breaks at the live show? No. We'll have breaks. There'll be like an intermission, <laughs> but... um. I don't know how the venue would react if we all pulled out a bong. We're going to make like a few little short sketches to play, like a, in intermissions, aren't we? Like little, like little special. I don't know about that. We got a lot to do. I'm not committing to that. A lot of time. Sorry. What do you mean? We're, yeah, we, I think we said we'll have one intermission. That's it. So no, probably not. But like there'll be drinks there. So you can go and have a fuck couple of beers. Well, fuck man. There's a bar, yeah. There's a toilet there. You can do lines off the fucking sea cunt. Don't say that. Yeah, we'll leave a couple of glass pipes lying around. <laughs> For Matt. Yeah, Matt, would you do meth at the live show? No. Dude, Why? I feel like you should, man. No. All right. Okay, we'll leave it there. $1,000 on the table. Stop it. All right. Last question. Jonas Jonah Hinderer. Jonah, Jonas Hinderer. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Hindura. All right, and his question Hindura. is, uh, um, are you boys regretting anything you did in the past? Have you ever regretted anything you did yeah, in the past? of course. What's an example of that? Oh, just fucking... I remember one time at school when I was in year four, me and my mates on the weekend pissed in a bottle and then all the girls at school found out about it. And man, that was not cool socially for like a good three months. Because you oh, pissed in a bottle. Yeah, it's like I pissed in a bottle. It's a bottle. And it's like, oh my God, you pissed in a bottle? Fucking shut up. I drink my own cum now. I think you've done that one. <laughs> Like that's nothing compared to that. I wonder what they would say to that now. Dude, that's Man, nothing. they gave me hell for pissing in a bottle. I used to chase the girls around at school going scrunchy, saying I was going to scrunch their vaginas and shit. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Like last that's week. That's actually real. <laughs> no, no, that was grade four. Oh, but was yeah, just well, like, I was around grade four. Scrunchy, and then, scrunchy, yeah, so I remember that's... it was like social suicide for a while. Me and my mate were known as the piss bottle dudes and... Fuck, How old is your grade? Year four, year yeah, three? You see, mine was grade four and I was chasing the chicks around. Bottle, yeah, dude. but you would have been that fucking like kid called Dylan who had like yeah, I'll, I'll learning just... difficulties and <laughs> fucking asperges. So, someone said in the uh, the university uh, page on Facebook, they were like, you were definitely the kid with no friends at lunchtime. Yeah, I like, no, nah, I was the kid at school with the dead possum in his hand. Going, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see. Like, everyone that was just your stayed away from you. Everyone would be like, yeah, just stay away from that kid. Oh, but, thanks, like, man. Yeah, I, I, everything was good until then, but it was only like a three month like sort of hiatus from three months is like majority of the school year yeah well it was a long three months but then eventually they forgot about the piss bottle and it went back to normal but that three months sucked <laughs> and I regret bottle. that dude you've pissed in like 10 bottles well, dry in my car with pissed in more bottles than ground yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah it's nice 
But like as a kid, it's not cool. Sorry. All right, guys, that is the end of questions, which leaves us now with our final fucking segment. And I pray to God that this cunt answers his phone. Mm. So last week mm. we called some security company guy <clears throat> and it made it sound like I was breaking into a house and got him to vouch and, and say, oh, if the cops come, you said it was all right. And I called us the cops and then he was like, no, no, he sounds like he's fucking junk. You never said he could break into the house. So now I'm going to call him back again as the guy, as Darren, and say, oh, you fucking snitched on me. Like, what the fuck, man? So that's the plan. <laughs> Let me oh, just put my phone on fucking private this time. Oh, fuck. Because he's got my number. I, I, I feel like I'm just going to tell him it's a prank call at the end because we've never done that. No, I just want to see no, at the very end. At the very I end. Just keep, to see. Keep your number. Just to see. Uh, believe it. He'll be like, oh, it's that number again. Huh? Maybe keep your number. No, because he wouldn't want to talk to me. He's fucking snitched on me. Hello. Yeah, g'day, mate. Um, I don't know if you remember me. Um, I called um last week about um switching off um security system, right? Um, and then like I use like oh you were like oh yeah nah I got you like when the cops come I'll say no nah, it was all good and that. And then the cops came right and you then t told them like that I'm like some um you don't know me and that. So I was like what the fuck like I thought he's like vouching for me and that. And then like. I hear the cops yeah. like talking to you and that they like full roughed me up, brother. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just calling like, like I'm not like after nothing. I just want an apology. Do you know what I mean? I just want like man to man. I don't know what you've been. I don't know who you are. I've got no idea who you are, so I can't help you. Mate, well, what do you mean? You bloody told me one thing and then you go and tell the cops another thing. And I'm no, just I like, don't. and then I ended up bloody watch house with bloody, with bloody grazers all up and down me chin, right? And I'm just calling you like from the heart. That's got nothing to do with me, mate. Mate. Oh. Yeah. I had a feeling oh, it was man. going. Fuck. Oh, from the heart. <laughs> was that the same bloke? Yeah, yeah, it's the same guy. Um, all right, what was the plan B? Uh, RACQ, Darren's car is broken down, but he can't afford to sign up. But, like, can you just do this No, time? No, I that's right. I'll I'm going to I'm gonna call RACQ and just say, yeah, yeah, I'm a member or some shit. Yeah, Tom can't fuck now. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go to secure road side of s**t. Who's speaking? How can I help? Yeah, g'day, mate. Um, I've, like, uh, got my car parked on Solar Road um, mm -hmm. just in uh, North Brizzy, and um, I've uh, got keys inside the car, right, and the car's locked up on me, and um, I'm going yep. to need I'm gonna need you boys to come out here and um, give us a hand. Yep, yep. Out. Yeah, yep. How's, right, qu how's, quick years reckon, how's quick years reckon you can get out here? Because, like... Um, it's just sketchy area and that, and I'm like, like I've got to like get back to um, like my missus yeah. and that. I'm, I'm just trying to find it. Uh, two three one R E X R E X. Yeah, yeah, Rex. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Not R E X two three one. Is it? Make yeah. Front? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It might not oh, be. Is that not coming up on the um, thing or something? No, no. Yeah. Well, what if like you just send one of your boys out? I've got like two fifty, three hundred cash on me. Um, I can flick his like. 200 call it even you do your little bloody put your little fucking little fling through the bloody window there and pop it open and I'll flick you 200 cash and you, you send your boy off and all um like, get out of here no fuss no muss brother alright yeah okay um, alright give me some details here I can transfer you through the membership team if you want to join up and we can get that all sorted and we'll still send well, you I thought it out. already was I um, thought it was already joined up in that lock um, I've only just got yeah. this car lock not what's your what's your vehicle registration number? Oh, sorry, not your register. What's your phone number? Contact number. Uh, zero. Four, mobile? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero four two one. Yep. Oh four. Yep. Two one. Yep. Two one. I love twos and I love ones. Love two, love ones. Yeah, oh, mate. Right. You had it requested. Give me a second. You can do that. Yeah, like when you sign up to yeah. and that, you can request like what number. Yeah. You want. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, simple. Yep. Yeah. Look, unfortunately, we don't have anything coming up in that register. Right. Right. I can arrange for patrol to come yeah, out and I'll yeah. charge a, a one-off call out fee if you like. Yeah, right, or right. Or get you signed up, up to you. Yeah, how's quick skin you get out here and that? Because, like, um, if someone come, I mean, if, if, like, I sneak around here, like, it's real sketchy area in that, lock. Like, yeah, sure whereabouts are you? I'm just uh, North Brizzy, um, up in uh, Strathpoint. 
Chaton, I grew up in Chaton. Yeah, there you go. Well, you know what I'm talking about, mate. There's bloody blacks, <laughs> all blacks walking around, bloody knives and that. <laughs> And like what's, the, what's the address? Uh, what, whereabouts are you? Yeah, fuck, what's the street around here? Um, there's Gimpy Road somewhere. Um, yeah. There's like um, there's like a set of shops in that. Um, not too far down the road. Like there's like a little subway in that. So two hundred mm-hmm. cash should cover all this, shouldn't it? Right? If I just cash here, like I don't need to like um, write my name down. You don't need all my details and that. I can just use just open oh. the, open the car up and then use leave. Um, and then like you just leave me with the car, right? Uh, we'll have to get some details off you. You'll, you'll have to get your name, your phone number, and all that sort of stuff in the system. Yeah. Or how about I just flick in like another fifty in that? Like I don't need to like nah. prove it's my car and all that. Well, that's that's sort of sort of the whole thing. We do have to make sure we get into it. Well, it is my car. Look, it is my car. Look, I can show the bloke like my license and that when you get here. Yeah, but, yeah like, that's that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All, sick. Right. all right, sick. Yeah. All right, just gotta find out where you are. Yeah. All right. So what's the address there? I can see there's a subway at Westfield Strathpine. There's one a little bit further down. Yeah, a little bit there. further down that one. Yeah, yep, yeah. Right, and this down time... there towards uh, Gimpy Road and uh, what's that street there? Bell's Pocket Road down that one there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, I've just come running up that street. Yeah, so, and then I've seen, um, yeah, my car there on the side of the road. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. All right, okay, bear with me a second. Let's get the right details here. Yeah, no, nah, that's good. Um, all right, subway. Uh, it is my car, yeah. Yep. Strathpine, Hippie Road. All right. All right, there it is there on the corner. All right, 441. Yeah, so the guy's come, like, I don't need to, like, prove, like, um, like he, just, he can open the car, right, and then he'll just go yeah. He'll just go away, right? He won't, like... No, he'll, have, he'll, have to, he'll have to check your ID, uh, make sure we get the right people and got the right details in the system. But, so. like, if he won't, like... He won't like take like my like photo or nothing or record any of that like down like I'll just right. show him my license, right? And then he can just get out of there and I'll leave him throwing another fifty bucks. How's that sound? Uh <laughs> Yeah, I don't Yeah. Don't know if they'll they will that's exactly how they'll do right. it. But uh, Right. Yeah, they okay. they do have to have um, you know, some obviously some rules as to what we can and yeah, can't do. Yeah, nah, nah, right. You just can't just right. go around like opening cars up. Opening cars yeah, people. nah, yeah. nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. I don't like I'm not right. lying on that though. So like like and everyone's got price. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, yeah, so if, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So if you come out, look, look, <laughs> I can get you two fifty today and like give me like two weeks. <laughs> like, you give me your, like, bank details and that. Like, I can write down and I can send you, like, personally, maybe, like, nah. 500 bucks or something if you want. <laughs> if you don't feel comfortable. Nah, right, if you don't feel comfortable with that, I just, I just like, um, privacy in that. So, it's like, if this yeah, guy's, like, understand. Yeah, right, yeah. So, if this guy's, like, taking all my details down, I'm, like, like, I'll just get more backup. I'll, like, I'll get fucking, like, I'll get all rolled up in that, like, and I'll get all fucking fired right. up in that, too. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's more of, it's a sedan, this one, is it? Sedan? Yeah, it's a WRX, right. yeah, yep. Sedan, all right. Uh, what year model is it? Oh, fuck. Um, looks like, fuck, what is it? Maybe, like, 2007 or something, 2008, somewhere around there or something, you know? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is it a petrol or a... Is it petrol? Is it an automatic or a manual? Uh, let me have a look in. And what Ma- colour is uh, it? It's an automatic. Automatic and it's a white car. Yeah, quick, quick though. There's people looking at me. And right. the, there's, like yeah, a, okay. there's a couple All across right, the road okay. and it's staring Mate, at me. I, I, I do, need, do need to grab your name. Your name is? Uh, look, oh, um, Darren, Darren's my name. Darren. All right. Surname? Thompson. 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 T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N P-H-O-M-P-S-O-N yeah but that's like you Perfect. don't keep that on record or nothing right He's... oh it'll just be on this uh, on this car for the car alright alright so, all right. so, so, this, this so just confirm just confirming right once you use rock up you just mm-hmm. open the car I'll give that bloke 250 or 200 what do you want well, well they'll have his uh, call out fee right, right. Um, right. the keys are in the car uh, whereabouts are they in the ignition um, I can't I can't see them in the car. Um, oh, they must have like dropped on the um, floor or something. But don't worry. You tell your boy just once he's opened it, he can just he can just fucking get out of there. I'll find them. I'm sure they're like under the seat or something. Um, and then like okay. and then yeah, like I'll just I'll find them. So he don't even need to worry about where and that. Just get the All car right. open for us. Flick you a bit of cash. Give me bank details and that, and I'll flick you um, five hundred. Uh, 
Well, All right. Okay. Let me just see uh, who's the guy in the area and if how far away you'll be. All right. Stay with me for a second. All right. Uh, Morton area will be coming from. No cops or nothing too. Like he's don't need. He's don't right. like give any of this info to the coppers or nothing. Do you? Well, if they ask for it, we have to give it to them, I'm afraid. So just hold the line for a second, mate. I'll be back in a oh, second. I'll make a quick phone call. I'm on parole. All right, just hold the line. No worries, bro. All right, you there, Darren? Yeah, mate. Yeah, bloody hell. Fuck Yeah, look. Yeah, sorry about that, but I had to get in contact with our dispatch team to find out where the patrols are in the area. Yeah, you, you weren't uh, talking we about are... cops just then, were you? You were bloody talking to your dispatch team, was it? Yeah, dispatch, mate. We've got, to, we've got because it's a non-member event, uh, we have to contact dispatch. And they have to give us approval if we've got anyone in the That was a bloody long time, mate. You weren't talking to the cops then, were you? No, mate, no. no. All right. Um, but look, they, what, they've, what they've suggested is uh, they can't service you tonight with the uh, oh, with fuck, a, a non-member me, event because you're not a member. You're bloody uh, your joking. Best option be, your best option would be contact a 24-hour locksmith, mate. Right, mate, now come on, mate. You've just bloody gone and told me that that it's all G and you've got a bloody bike around the corner. Why can't he just come flick around? Like, no one even needs to know nothing, right? Like, like you and me talking, just forget about it, right? Your, your boy rocks up. He gets 250 cash for, like, 10 minutes' work, right? I get uh, I get the car, and then everyone yep. everyone's smooth, smooths it out, brother. You know, there's all uh, this. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we've got a lot of jobs on at the moment, and uh, our dispatch team has said they can't uh, hand, handle any non-member events. Mate, if he, uh, why don't you give me dispatch's number? I'll give him a bars because, look, I'm sure he, he'd say yes to 250 cash even after his shift stay or some shit. Yeah, sorry, mate. We can't help you tonight. Oh, I'm mate, afraid, you're uh, killing me, mate. Two, two grand. I'll give you two grand once I flick this car next week. Yeah, sorry, mate. Can't do it. I'm afraid oh, mate, you, you bloody, need bloody to bloody the vehicle. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. You fucking the fuck's coming around. There's, there's a couple of stuff around the road. So I don't know where fucking going on, bro. Two, two. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. I, I can't help you tonight. Mate, uh, you, you, you need somebody. Joking, you have to contact. Right. You have to contact a uh, right. a uh, right. twenty-four hour yeah. locksmith, mate. Okay, okay? Mate. All right. Look, all right, I'll come on strong, and you sort of lock. You come back at me like you're pushing back, and it's like Sorry, mate. no, no, no. Lock. Look, I, I get it. Like you, yeah. my respect level for you just then, like went from like like quite low. I'll be honest, like quite low on the rung. But now he's like mm-hmm. come up. Like I've just realised you're like. You're up there with me. We're like two alpha boys, right? And um, no, I respect that. And like, right. no, if you want to grab a beer sometime, like you let me know. You know, you know what number to call me on. Um, and like we can go around cruising around the streets and that. I'll give you right, old Rexy brother. So no, you done. All you right. done all right. No worries. Look, best option, mate. Just uh, have a quick Google search and see if you can find. Oh, mate, for I've it's just seen a brick. Come out and help you. I've just seen a brick on the other side of the road. I'm just going to smash the back windscreen and just fuck crawl through oh. there and find, try and find the keys. It's all good, brother. I'll get it flick. I'll, I'll flick it for maybe 300 or less with a smashed window. But yeah, right. money's money, mate. You got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's it, mate. I wouldn't go knocking knocking the windows out for that. <laughs> mate, come on, mate. You bloody, you know, I know right, buddy. you. I fucking know you, mate. <laughs> All right, mate. All right, respect cheers, you, buddy. Give yourself, buddy, and we'll give your wife one for me, brother. All right, mate. No worries. See Thanks, you later, buddy. Brother. Bye-bye. Cheers and turn around, Rod. Okay. The following yeah. advice is to assist you and your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The following advice is to assist you at the breakdown location. Always activate... Nah. Fucking hell, cunt. It was crazy. <laughs> that guy was like too polite. See, it's annoying that it happens in prank calls sometimes. Yeah. No, he would have just been stalling 100% through it. If we were at that location where he said it right now, there will be a patrol car going past there. Who knows? There might be a crime committing there right now and we saved we that saved person. We saved the day. Yeah. So or true. we could have taken that policeman away from an actual crime and someone could be getting murdered Shut because up. of that prank call. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Strathpine. All right, guys, that is the end of episode number 37. All right, we got two more and then the finale, and then that's the end of the fucking season. Fuck me, brother. It's been a big year. Bloody oath, man. Holy shit balls. We had a run down, but we've got new sponsors, and we one of them's an energy drink. So yeah, we'll and the awake. Athletic Greens gives us energy too. That's so true, Michael. It fills the gaps. Now let's invoice them. <laughs> <laughs> we're the best we're, we're the, the best, best we're the best, best we're the best, best we're the best, best we're the best say it Julian this is your moment say it Julian 